thanks for taking the time to chat with us. Hi. Um, going into this match, three matches in a week, arguably a make or break point in the season for the team. How crucial was it to get a point, uh, to get a, uh, points, if not the win, but also to do it under the circumstances tonight and you know playing 10 players down and showing the resilience to get the victory? Yeah, I mean, I'm glad we went 10 players down, but um, yeah, I think obviously when you have someone sent off as early as we did, sort of, you know, the full game plan goes out the window a little bit. Um, but I think we were still aggressive. We still defended on the front foot. We made it difficult for them. We know we have to give something up, but um, I thought defensively we did an unbelievable job um, of limiting them to chances around our goal, which I think when you play San Diego, you have to do that. And obviously, they came here with injuries and stuff like that, but when something happens so early in the game, you can either crumble or you can stand up and fight and be counted. And I think it says a lot about the group, about their belief, about who they are, who they want to be, that they didn't crumble um, and they stood up and they fought till the death. Um, and two little bits of well, one real bit of quality from G and Veronica um, and a really good instinctive press from Bolsa um, to force the goalkeeper into a mistake, you know, gets us a win, which not many people go against San Diego and win. Uh, not many people go against San Diego and win with 10 players for eight, 90 minutes, or whatever it was. So, yeah, really, really proud of the group. Uh, Will or has the club initiated an appeal for Z's red card? Mm, no, we haven't done that. Um, do you think we should? Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Jacob. Don't get me fined. <laughs> Good man. Uh, Veronica in here just a few minutes ago used the word grit to describe the mm. performance tonight. Uh, you have a couple of players that are out in Quinn and Heidema. Uh, this is an example of utilizing your entire roster that we talked about yeah. before. Um, what does it say about uh, the club from a grit standpoint uh, that you're able to bring on so many different players. You're starting Emery mm -hmm. as a teenager. Like, yeah. This would not have been necessarily the plan two months ago when you looked at the yeah. potential lineup. Um, yeah. I think with three games in a week, our plan was to always like look at who needed to start tonight, who needed to come on. Um, knowing we've got three games in a week. And yeah, we know that, you know, with the results that we've had, with the losses that we've had, we have put ourselves in a, in a tough position. But, you know, I will always say, you win three games in this league and your life looks very, very different. And there's no, there's no better example of that than Gotham from last year. You know, like they won three games and they won them at the end of the season and they ended up winning the championship. So. As long as you keep yourself in it and you, you're process driven, you don't get too high with the highs and you don't get too low with the lows, you'll always be able to have a good mentality. Um, and I think that's what showed Sean tonight. And I think this group knows that they've always not been that far away. And I said to them at the end, to, you, can all, you can often, when at the end of seasons, you can always look back on a game or a performance or a moment that can you know springboard you potentially and maybe this was tonight you know i think that this was definitely a turning point from where we were um to come out perform the way we did to show the mentality we did i thought i thought jess and has was exceptional i thought laurel was great i thought the subs were great when they came on and you know every single player that walked on that field was going to do everything in their power to make sure we didn't lose that game and and as long as we have that mentality we'll be okay um, speaking a little bit more about Laurel, can you just sort of speak on her performance in particular and how she's really taken every single game she's started mm -hmm. as a, a girl in opportunity and really improved upon each performance? Yeah, um, you know, obviously their, their goal comes off a set piece and I think she deserved the clean sheet tonight. You know, I think with the performance she deserved that. Um, I think what Laurel has shown in Challenge Cup games, previously, whenever she's been called upon, that she's reliable, she has the ability to play at this level, she is willing to do whatever it takes for this team, 
and um, I have. I, I've always said internally, I think she is a massive, massive piece of our locker room. And the fact that she's getting a chance to show everybody how good she is, um, is, you know, a fantastic credit to her because being a number two, being a number three, being a number two, which she has been, um, and now stepping into a number one role is hard. It's mentally really, really tough, but she's taken everything in her stride. And I think she showed tonight what her true qualities are. Um, and we know there's more to come from her, and she knows that too. So that's the exciting part for Laurel. Hi. First off, congratulations. Thanks. Um, my question is, um, how important is the communication between you and your players during the game? We see a lot of you pulling players Losing over and talking to them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I've always been sort of quite, I don't know what word, not calm on the sideline. Um, so I think new players sometimes think like she's a lunatic, but I think someone like, you know, the older players like know that I, I'm going to be there to help them and guide them and help, so, you know, solve problems for them. And in games like tonight, when you go down to 10, you have to have a shape change tactically, you have to change things. Like, I think the communication piece is, is pretty simple and quick with some of the players that I've coached for a long time like me and Jess literally said three words to each other she immediately knew what we needed to do she got it to the rest of the group um, and then we needed a little bit of time to get used to it so then when they come over it's just like solidifying what needs to happen um, so yeah I mean communication is absolutely vital in my job and sometimes I definitely scream and shout when I shouldn't but um, yeah they're used to me now thank god coach congrats on the win uh, you mentioned mentality a couple times. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you make of your team's mentality of today's game after going down uh, really early in the game? Yeah. Uh, is there anything that you told the team at halftime, or are there any tactical changes that you told them? Yeah, at halftime we just solidified what we were doing tactically, and then um, I said to them, "You've got something." You know, we we were drawing at that point. You know, we were we got ourselves back in the game. And something that I think has been a growing point for us as a team is we've, we've got ourselves in either winning positions and lost. Uh, we've got ourselves back into games and been drawing and lost. So I was like, tonight's the night where we, we come out of here with something. And that if that becomes a point, it becomes a point. And, and Lou came over at one point and went, are we, are we going for the point? Are we going for the win? And it was literally right before the free kick. And uh, we said, if we get in these positions, we're going for the win. But if it's like, you know, are we going to overplay? Are we going to try and, you know, build through the thirds and look all pretty? No. So I think that um, that sort of stems to where the group is. Like, even in a tough moment, it's what late in the game. They've been playing with 10 for so long. They want to go win the game, you know. So I think that that says a lot about who the group are and what they want to do. Coach, congratulations on the win. At what point did you know that you would win and what did that feel like I guess realizing that you would win? Um, I think I knew we would win honestly when the ref blew the whistle. Everyone was going oh it's it, it's it, I was like I don't trust it, we're gonna set up like it's not so honestly until the whistle and every emotion you could think of was probably what I had, relief, you know, losing my head, wanting to go nuts, um, all of it because I think one thing I've learned in this league is you can't take winning for granted. Um, they're really hard to come by, so celebrate it like it's your last one, because um, you don't ever know when it will come again. Um, I think we had a milestone tonight with Lou, you know, winning 100 games, the first player to ever do it. Um, and I said to him on the field, like, don't ever take winning for granted, because it is the greatest feeling in the sport, winning games. You know, that's what we do it for. And sometimes I think that you can sometimes get caught up in, you know, other parts of it. But tonight we're going to definitely celebrate winning. When we asked uh, Ronnie to talk about uh, her match winning goal, uh, she, you know, basically praised G for, you know, serving it on a planner. Mm. Um, as much as uh, G didn't start probably because of the, you know, how many matches in a week in mm -hmm. rotation, just what does it uh, mean to be able to bring on an impact player off the bench like G and, uh, you know, her, what she's uh, brought to the team since joining. Yeah, she uh, obviously has got quality, you know. I think that this has been a new experience for G. I remember her saying a while ago, she was like, I haven't lost two games in a row. And she couldn't even remember when that happened. 
you know, she's come here and realised that this is tough. It's tough to play here, but she showed her quality. And I think we, we knew before the game that we had to, we, we you know, we, we gave some people opportunities to start. I thought Liv has always done well when we played San Diego, whether it be Challenge Cup or when she's had minutes. So I thought tonight would be a good game for Liv. And then obviously that gives us a chance to not have to start G, which then we have games coming up. So, you know, it doesn't get any easier for us. Like we, we definitely need to celebrate tonight, but um, you saw at the end, um, our back four, we're running, you know, because we know we've got a big week coming up. Um, so I'm so glad that G could come on and have impact. I'm so glad Veronica could come on and have impact because I thought that they were great. And uh, we've said for a long time that we feel that we have some depth in this squad. It's been tested because of our injuries. Um, but tonight they, they did great. Right, we'll take the last one from Nico on Zoom. Nico? What's up, Nico? So, congrats on the win, coach. Thanks, mate. Making me look at myself. I look like an absolute disaster. <laughs> um, just wanted to get your, like, as you previously mentioned, about G being a kickback back player. Yeah. If, if you could talk a little bit more about that, on the, the decision on putting her in the 18 rather than starting for a match like today. Yeah. And how the... Players, uh, Jordan and, and when Claudia comes back into the mix of things, now that the team has momentum. Yeah, I, honestly, it, was, it wasn't a tough decision for G, just because of the games we've got coming up. You know, like, we've asked a lot of her already, really. Like, someone who's just coming into the league, a little bit like with Haz and Lily, like, we've, we've drip-fed them in, we've started them a bit, we've brought them off the bench, we've, you know, not given them 90s here and there, and we've, asked, we've played G a ton. So I thought tonight was an opportunity to bring her on. Obviously, we didn't. We hoped it wouldn't be in the circumstances it was, because she arguably had to work harder than argue, we, we wanted her to. But I think she showed her quality. I think she showed that she can you know, do that defensive side of the game and dig in for the team, which is huge. Like We're going to need that for her going forward. Um, and sets us up now that you know she's got a little bit of energy and a little bit more to give going into the next two games, which are obviously vital. Thank you, Coach, and congratulations again. Cheers, mate. Thanks, everyone. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.